Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a purple look for you. Um, if you want to see how I created this look, then continue watching and leave any comments down below on any other suggestions of looks you would like me to film. See you guys soon. Bye. First colour that I'm going to take, if you'll focus, focus, is Frappe by Makeup Geek. I'm just going to put that through the crease of my eye. <laughs> literally using windshield wiper motions just to put that through and then when I get to the outer corner I'll just try and wing it out but also do circular motions there and I have started using my eyeshadow to come into the inner corner of my eye as well because it kind of gives the illusion that I have contoured my nose but I haven't really so that's that one I'm just going to do the other eye now so once I'm happy with that colour, I'm going to go in with Peach Smoothie, which is also by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to use this to clean under my eyebrows. I'll put a lot of the product where the arch of my brow is first and then I'll go in and just blend the rest out. Again, where the arch of my brow is first, put in most of the product there and then just blend in the rest of it out. I'm just going to pick up the same brush that I used for my crease and I just lightly blend them two colours in together. For the next colour, I'm going to use Curfew, also by Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to apply this on the outer corner of my eye, and just slowly work that in to the crease, but making sure that I don't go too high where I've applied Frappe. So again, using windshield wiper motion, and then using circular motions for the outer corner and trying to wing it out at the same time. I like to pick up a little bit of product first because then it'll be easier just to build up the colour whereas if you pick a load up first then it'll be harder to blend. So whatever's left on my brush I'm just bringing it into the inner corner again and making sure I'm not going above frappe. So I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. Again, windshield wiper motion, just sweeping the colour across, not going too high where frappe is, and then using circular motions on the outer corner, but also trying to wing the colour out. And when I have less product, just start to bring it in to the inner corner of the eye. So you can still see a bit of that warmth from frappe peeping above curfew. So once I'm happy with that colour, I'm going to pick up a fold eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and this is Masquerade. And I'm just literally going to apply that on my lid but stop where I've put curfew on the outer corner of the eye. Now if you want to file this eyeshadow more, you could like a setting spray or a eye drop solution but I quite like it how it is go in with the brush I had earlier to apply frappe and curfew and just literally blend those two colours in with no additional product on my brush. So I'm 
just going to use Daydreamer in on the centre of my eyelid because I feel like the eyeshadow look is looking quite flat and by putting this on the middle of the eyelid it will just bring it to life. So I'm just patting this on first and then I'll just flip my brush around that's got masquerade on just to blend everything in. So I'm just going to flip my brush and start working it into the other colour. I'm just using pattern motions just to blend it and if you need more of masquerade just grab a bit more to further help it blend. <laughs> a bit more of masquerade where I think Daydreamer has gone too far. There we go, so now the eye look looks more better. I'm going to go in with my eyeliner now and I'm just going to use the Rimmel Gel Liner. So this is the pot line, my lash line. Now for the lower lash line, I'm just going to pick up Curfew and just literally smoke that under there. Now for my lower, lower, my upper lash line, I'm going to use Maybelline's Lash Sensational. <laughs> I'm going to use Maybelline's uh, Falsies Push Up in the Angel. And then for brow gel, it's Rimmel this way. <laughs> and then for brow gel, it's Rimmel Brow this way in the shade Dark. I was going to comb this through just to make sure my brows stay in place all day. Especially this eyebrow, I don't like that. So here is a close up of the eyes. For my liquid lipstick, I'm going to apply Beauty Bakery's The Grape Life, which is a metallic purple colour with pink glitters going through it. If you liked this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already and I'll see you guys soon bye hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I've got a monochrome <laughs> So this is the final look guys, if you liked this video um, then please give it a thumbs up.